In this episode of Golf Barons, we explain a way you can have your very own Kipper Caddy in your pocket, put the Mizuno T22 wedges through the grind, as we test a controversial theory on missing the middle, and we learn the correct way to launch a ball into the stratosphere. You've likely heard the term course management over the journey, but the question is how many of you are actually applying it to your game? Fair finish. Hey, you're playing good golf, but you're making horrendous decisions. <laughs> Seriously, I don't even know what you... I saw you at least three times out there look at your GPS and make the incorrect decision. <laughs> really incorrect decision. It's, it's hard to watch. I'll tell you what. Hard to play. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll go, we'll go have some beers, but I want to go back out. I want to recreate those moments and just show you what you should have done by looking at your GPS. You've got a caddy in your pocket and you're not using it, mate. God, it's brutal. You're brutal. So, Philip, we return to the scene of the crime. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> now, you took double here. Yeah, yeah. And you hit a good shot. Yeah. Just hit a six iron straight into the wind and it ripped back. Okay. So, when you look at this, what do you see? Well, I see 150 to the pin. And that's what most people see. But look harder at the GPS. What do you see as a back edge? 162. Okay. Yeah. So, you've got so much room behind it. And then when you look at the green, but more importantly, the gap behind it, you've got 20 more metres. So you've got so much room to play. What are you saying? I'm saying, instead of playing a perfect yardage, you're not a perfect golfer. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are, right? But just try to play a safe zone versus a danger zone. And that's what I see. I see danger, danger, danger. So I'm going to give you a five iron, not a six iron. There we go. I'll give you even a ball. Oh. I haven't done this for a while, by the <laughs> way. There you go. And just same shot, because you did it a cracker in here, but you got penalised because you are playing perfect golf. We weren't playing smart golf, Philip. Not perfect golf. <laughs> now you absolutely pure with that. Great shot, great swing. Oh, it nearly gone in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh, what you? That's a mic. Oh, you, can, <laughs> you carry your own clubs because that's perfect. So, here we are, Philip. Scene of another one of your double bogeys. <laughs> Now, when you look at this GPS, number-wise, what do you see? I see 65. There, right. And then when you look at the green, as a good player, what are you seeing? I see 65 with a backdrop. Exactly right. You're thinking, I've got every what little... Thing? Yeah, you've got so much help, haven't you? Yeah. To stop it. So you hit a career shot, yep. right, up into the wind, off an uphill lie, spun a bit, went left, down the slope, double. All I see... Yeah, Unlucky yeah. on the second putt, though. Yes. So as a player, you're seeing green zone or safety yeah. zone. And all I'm seeing is danger zone. The only <laughs> shot you can't hit here is pin high left. And playing a shot up into the air with wind, you've got that in the bag. But look at the meterage to the right. You've got so much space. So even though you're 65 metres out, I'm going to get you to hit an eight iron, which I know sounds ridiculous. Eight iron, and just grub it along the ground. No more information needed. Oh, aim right, because <laughs> it slopes. <laughs> but just grub it along the ground. Magnificent. Watch this. Has not finished yet. Watch it curl around and curl around, curl around. And what are, stiff. What you, but what are you saying? Well, I'm saying you even thinned that, didn't you? <laughs> you didn't even hit it perfect. But it's gone perfect and you've just got so much scope for safety. Yet again. Green zone, red zone. Start looking for the safe oh. shot, Philip. Right, here we are. 
Now, I don't know what you did, whether you hit a driver or three wood. What did you do earlier? Three wood. Well, I saw it and uh, hit it well, but in the right trap, time you'd get again Chip another out. double. <laughs> so what were you hoping to achieve? Because it's 280 from here. So yeah, just, just right. So when I look at this, what I see, yes, is it's 280, but I, I'm looking for where I can actually make a score from. And if you bang your three wood down there, yes, you're gonna have a pitch in, but you've got to hit it through the gap and nail it. It's too hard. Apparently. Yeah. So that bunker, the first one, there's 160. Yep. Um, that's a bit of danger, so you want to be short of that. So even a 140 odd shot leaves you in your go zone, which is a 125er to the oh, hole. Oh, oh. <laughs> and that 125, I've never seen you miss a green in my life. So you're hitting seven iron. What's this smart golf thing? Well, it's not smart golf, it's just not being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I like that <laughs> distinction. Right, so just hit it, and then quick tip, because I know you're going to hit this easily and well, is if you're hitting to a layup, you got to hit it and then walk. Before it hits the ground. Before it hits, yeah. <laughs> and walk. <laughs> and you've nuked that as well. Well done, right in as it goes on. And you'll make birdie from there, nine times out of ten. Yeah, I know, I've got to catch up. Well done. Phil, right up. So look, grab this from now on. When you look at this, think of me. Think, what would Kipper do? <laughs> <laughs>